Hello, Bethel family and friends. Pastor Joe here. Um, a little different week for us here at Bethel, the week after Easter. Um, I'm not going to be recording a normal uh, Bible study. Um, we have a very special guest, Reverend Adam Jones, uh, and that video has actually already been posted. And so I just wanted you to be aware of the change this week. Uh, so Reverend Adam Jones and his wife Krista serve Bethel through Global Partners in Michigan, Dearborn, Michigan, and are a part of the uh, Dearborn Project. Uh, Reverend Jones uh, works in a Muslim community, so we're very excited about the work he is doing for the Lord, and we have supported him since he and Krista started uh, this endeavor working with Global Partners. And so I, I just trust you'll be really blessed by this unique uh, Bible study that he did for us, and so just wanted you to be encouraged by that. Uh, I also wanted this to check in and let you know that um, uh, our district is being very active and involved in this entire process of what's happening with us during COVID-19. And so just a quick update, we are looking towards reintegrating. We're not sure how soon that will be, but we're already talking about that. So I hope you'll be excited. Um, we not, we're not exactly sure when, but uh, as the guidelines change, we'll get more information out to let you know just how we plan on uh, reintegrating the church back into our normal worship schedules. And so it'll be different, and we know that, uh, but it'll be good. And so we'll work through that process together. Uh, so I just wanted to share a quick word with you. I know I'm not doing the Bible study this week, uh, but I want to share a quick word from you, uh, with you from Isaiah 40. And often I share this um, as a call to worship, uh, often in the traditional service. So here are these words from Isaiah chapter 40. Have you never heard? Have you never understood? The Lord is the everlasting God, the creator of, the, of all the earth. He never grows weak or weary. No one can measure the depths of his understanding. He gives power to the weak and strength to the powerless. Even youths will become weak and tired, and young men will fall in exhaustion. But those who trust in the Lord will find new strength. They will soar high on wings like eagles. They will run and not grow weary. They will walk and not faint. God's word for us today. I'd love for you to get your Bible out and just look at Isaiah chapter 40, verses 28 through 31, and just contemplate on that. Uh, as as often we see in the Psalms, Selah, that means think about it and just think about what these amazing words are saying. First, they're speaking to the greatness of our God, uh, that he is never tired. Uh, maybe you're tired, even though we're seemingly getting more rest. Uh, he his, And his understanding, we can't grasp how deep is the understanding of God, um, how truly beyond our understanding he is. He knows what's going on today. Uh, this was no surprise to him. And so he is fully in control. Uh, he didn't jump off the throne because of COVID-19. He's great. Our God is doing great. And, uh, and then he says to us, if you'll distrust me, um, he says, you know what? You're tired. Uh, even young people get tired. And I live with a young person, and they do get tired. Uh, we think they have boundless energy, but they do get tired. Um, even young people get tired. But he says the secret of life is waiting on him, trusting him, putting our faith in him. And you know, when we trust the Lord, we find strength, we find encouragement, we find help. And so he says, and it's so interesting, I think it's backwards, but it's great that it, it speaks in this language, in this way. He says he gives power to the weak and strength to the powerless. Uh, and then he says, but those who trust in the Lord will find new strength. They will soar high 
on wings like eagles. And so this idea of soaring, great power, uh, a great vantage point for seeing even uh, to be objective, for seeing all things that are going on. So soaring on wings like eagles, running and not growing weary. Listen, I can't run anymore. I don't know if you can. More power to you. Uh, I don't have the knees to run, but I'm a walker, so I'm doing some walking. Uh, But then it says they will walk and not faint. Uh, Run and not be weary and walk and not faint. You know, when we are trusting the Lord, we have the ability just to keep on walking. Just keep on walking. Keep moving forward. Uh, Use these days to do, uh, to be creative, to do something new, or just to remain faithful. And hey, I've got to just say this in closing. I have been so encouraged. Uh, I've spoken to a lot of you on the phone, uh, the Bethel family, uh, not all of you watching today, but I have been overwhelmed by your faith and your trust in the Lord. You have experienced God, and you have been trusting Him, and He has shown Himself faithful, and you're seeing prayers answered. I've got to say for my own family, we've seen some amazing prayers answered during this time. Uh, God is faithful, and God is good, and He is working on our behalf. So I want you to be encouraged. Hey, we're not together yet, but those days are coming, and so there'll be uh, video content this week to encourage you again, Reverend Adam Jones with Global Partners sharing a very specific message for Bethel. This isn't uh, this isn't just some generic message. This is specific for Bethel. He even mentions me in it and uh, has a great quote. Uh, from meatloaf, so you'll want to look for that. And also, Reverend, well, not Reverend, I shouldn't go that far yet, uh, Mr. Kevin Brooks, who is currently in the ministerial program, is going to be sharing a word with us for our Sunday sermon. So lots of great content as we just continue to walk by faith, trusting in the Lord. Those who wait upon the Lord shall have their strength renewed. So if you're a little down today, hey, trust in the Lord. Focus on him. Be encouraged. Our God is with us and our God is good. God bless you. Have a great day, a great week, and we'll be in touch soon. Bye-bye.